Welcome to your daily adjustment with Dr. Artis. I'm a chiropractor, so I do adjustments of the spine to actually remove strenuous pressure off the spine. But this right here is just an adjustment that you can make in your life to actually make your life better. And today I want to talk about strains and sprains. Well, strains, you want to think more muscle. Sprains, you want to think more ligaments. And what happens with those different things is so many different reasons that can actually cause pain in your body. Now, primarily what I'm talking about when I think about strains and sprains, are you thinking about the neck or the back? Today, I want to focus more on the back. Now, with strains and sprains, they both hurt. And they're treated the same, even though they're two distinct things, right? Remember I said strains are more muscles when they get irritated and slight tears. Sprains are more ligaments, when ligaments are torn from different kinds of traumas and so forth. Which speaking of different things that can cause strains and sprains, you got traumas like car accidents, uh, all of a sudden movements of slips and falls, things like that that actually can cause the ligaments to actually stress from a short period of time and can cause damage. Also car accidents or slips and falls. Other things that can cause a lot of those things to happen too with strains and sprains is poor posture. When the posture starts to shift like that, it puts a lot of stress on the ligaments and the muscles in the body and that can cause irritation, which can cause pain. Other things that can do it too is actually lifting and twisting. Um, I'm in the Midwest, so people shovel snow. And one of the common things that I see a lot of people is when they're shoveling snow, they go and they start to twist. So they're picking up a load that the body wasn't designed to lift and twisting at the same time. That's one of the easiest ways to cause low back pain. And if it's heavy enough and severe enough, where there's more irritation there, it could also cause or lead to a herniated disc. Other things that could do it too is repetitive injuries, like sports injuries or people that are working doing the same things. When I think about repetitive injuries, I'm thinking about baseball players. I'm thinking about people that are in assembly lines that are doing the same things and then they have poor posture or biomechanics, which could cause more stress and strain on ligaments and muscles and tendons. That right there can actually do it. So what I want you to start thinking about is how the body design it is designed to move in motions. This is where I come in as a chiropractor. What I do is actually help remove pressure off the spine by performing adjustments. So some of the adjustments that you can do is by making sure that you're moving in the right plane of motion. Now the body was designed to move with the forward flexion and extension. Now we're doing that with no weight. You can actually do that and actually decrease the amount of pain that you can be in. But when you add weight, and obviously the heavier the weight, the more problems you can have. Now the other ways you can do it too is lateral flexion. You got left and right lateral flexion going to the side, and then you got also a rotation, right? So right and left, those are six planes of motion and you can form in the neck, the low back, as well as most majority parts of the body. So with that being said, when you actually experience traumas and those different things and doing that, if you're moving out of that range of motion, out of those planes, and you're adding load to it, you're gonna increase your chance of having low back pain. Hope that adjustment in your day-to-day -day routine helps that can actually decrease that chances of you having any kind of strain and sprain. And if you do, remember, strains and sprains can heal very easily if taken care of properly. If you want more information, subscribe to my YouTube channel, or if you want a direct consultation, call my office and we can see if we can set you up for an appointment. Thank you.